Okay, I have a question. All right. The excludes one, you know, one came in the final exams and I was a bit confused. Um, example, the one that we see, if the physician uh, documented um, appendicitis, mm -hmm. then documented also on, uh, appendicitis with peritonitis. Per pardon me. Okay, so we are to code only one. So which of these will, will you code? Will you code the first one or the second one? <laughs> Okay, if, okay, let me make sure I understand the question. The question is, the physician documents acute appendicitis with peritonitis. Is no. that correct? I'm just, no? Using, I'm just using this as an example. If, okay. uh, if uh, he documented appendicitis, then okay. also documented appendicitis with peritonitis like both of the this uh, both of them okay which of them will you code uh, we are to you code only one you want which to of only them? okay we have yeah, yeah in icd-10 we have the availability to identify appendicitis with peritonitis mm -hmm. So we're only going to use one code and it will be in this category, Eugenia. Okay. Whether, yeah, whether it's K35.2 uh, generalized peritonitis or maybe if it's acute peritonitis, it's going to be, you would look up. Well, let's do that. Let's do that right now. Let's go back to our index. All right, so we've got appendicitis. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we've got with. So let's open that up. You see right here, we have peritonitis. Yes. So we are a, let's click on this code, K35.33. This is going to be, can you see my screen? Yes, please. Okay. Acute appendicitis with perforation and localized per peritonitis with abscess. So you're not going to have to identify appendicitis separately because it's okay. included in this code. Okay, okay. It's, yeah. Uh, I have a question also. Okay, Blessing. Uh, to play back to the execute one notes, uh, the example you gave us, uh, somatoform disorder. Yes. Yes, uh, you coded it to uh, a specified type, but in the documentation, in what we, we have here, it doesn't show uh, like any specified. How do we get to, oh, because this always confuses us, how to know the specified type and the unspecified. Type. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's. All right, this this is this the excludes one note that we are talking about? I'm pretty yes. sure it is. It's where I yes. put it. Okay, so what we've got here, and it's in our guideline, it talks about this patient has two conditions. All right, so we have the somatoform disorder, and then we have the sleep teeth grinding. And your question is, how did we get to the specific? Is yes, that correct? The order, yes, the orders. Uh, is it the order okay. that makes it to be coded to a uh, uh, specified type? Mm -hmm. Other okay. instead of unspecified, instead right, of the right. F45.9, correct? Yeah, I have it down. Okay, so we're able to identify a condition. We are able to be specific in that we can identify the condition of the somatoform, which is your teeth grinding. Okay. okay. Just like the F45.8, 
the psychogenic dysmenorrhea, that takes you directly to F45.8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done. Uh, yeah, the yeah. thing is, I've realized that for this uh, program, you have to understand all the things. Because yes. if you don't understand uh, somatofo, <laughs> right? Yeah, if right. you don't understand, yes, if you don't understand, you will not be able to relate to what we are saying. What it is. Are saying. And, yes. yes, and that's you know that's a very good point, Eugenia, and that's yeah. why I encourage you, all of you, to read that common language description. Okay. In your find a code, and you know okay. it does slow us down. Okay. You've got a little bit of, a, just a very small window between today and when you'll start working. Okay. okay. I think it would yeah. be a really good idea to go back to the scenarios that I've sent y'all in the past. Okay. Re rework these okay. without looking at your answers. Okay. Lesson two was asking um, how to know if it is specified or unspecified. Um, uh, I, I it, 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 yeah, it, it, it draws me back to the final exam. So, uh, a question was on hydrocell, but they said it was specified left hydrocell. So that one too, I didn't know if it was unspecified or specified. It's was that in your final exam as well? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. Hydrosol, left right. hydrosol. The diagnosis was left hydrosol. So okay. uh, that one, so I didn't know if it was specified or it was not. It's going to, yeah, it's going to need a more of a condition associated with it. Laterality does not identify specified conditions. It just identifies whether it's right or left. Okay. So that All is right. not, yeah, that is not specified. Thank you. Mm. You're very welcome. <laughs> You're very welcome. I hope that today was helpful. Yes, very um, helpful. And I know it's basic. I know you've learned it, but it's been a long time yes. since you started yes. this course and actually looked at guidelines. Mm-hmm. Now, before you when before you start your first job, please go through. I know it's 115 pages, but go through and make notes of any questions that you may have on any of these guidelines and refer to me. But I do want you to take the responsibility to refresh because you've covered these in the course. But before you start your job, you need to cover them one more time. It's been a while since you've looked at all the guidelines.